Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf run, where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only a single soldier permission. This here is going to be a bit of an exception operation spider song. It's going to be an ambush that um, that has just begun. Unfortunately for the ambush um, or for any ambush uh, mission, um, the the number of operatives that are taking part in this mission is determined by the number of um, operatives that go onto the covert ops. So it's fixed, which means I couldn't change or or make it smaller. So it's uh, one of uh, the times where we are going to have two um, soldiers instead of one. But it also gives us the chance to maybe even win the mission. Our main priority should be uh, to keep Roby as healthy as possible because we will need him for further missions. First thing first in every extraction mission is the obligatory uh, the obligatory enemy drop. They will drop onto our position here. So that's the first thing that's happening at the very beginning of every single mission. And it's the most difficult part, so to speak. Let's move very close. Uh, we cannot crit on uh, overwatch shots. But having the ability to take them from a close distance will at least maximize our chance that we hit them. Let's try to kill at least one of them. Hopefully only two uh, reinforcements drop. Nope, that's not the case. It's three. An advent, um, an advent uh, commander with two improved... Uh, troopers, so that's nine hit points per trooper already. At least the captain dies immediately. That's good. Making sure that Roby is not the first target of them. And this advanced trooper hopefully is going to die. That's the first hit, minimum damage, but still. If we were to go and hit him, that's 5 to 7, so it's 66, a little bit more than 66% chance to hit. 4 to 6. Yeah. I don't think that we're going to get much higher. Let's see, if we're standing right next to him, okay. That's like what? Four to six. That's a two-third chance of uh, killing him. Plus, in case we're dealing maximum damage. So it's even a higher uh, ch chance, so 33% for kill, uh, hitting maximum damage. Plus, uh, in the other cases, there is a 65% chance for critting. At the end, it worked out like a charm. Probably going to take a single shot here. Shoot into the open. Lucky us. Moving into a flanking position. Nice little hit. Oh, look at you. This cheater, he moved all the way up here. He, he moved to a position which we cannot reach. Wow. He was just ignoring the end of the map. I've never seen that. Sight. 
Overwatch, you know, this one here is not going to trigger Overwatch. But it is going to flank you. If you're taking a single step, that's not triggering Overwatch. Good. We're done with the drop. I would very slowly like to get back to the actual um, starting zone here. Alright, Roby moves up. And we're going to Overwatch. Let's wait for the loss. If we play this mission correctly, uh, it's a bit cheesy to do so, but if we play it correctly, might be able to squeeze out a big fat promotion for Roby. One, two, three. And the explosion of this tank here should even trigger more loss. A loud explosion is exactly what we wanted. Okay, let's clean these guys here up. Let's try to give Roby as many kills as possible. Okay, that's one more kill and then we should be able to go. Alright, next round we're going to start moving again. Moving up. And let's very carefully Try to make our way towards the exit. There are still going to be two more packs of Advent, but usually it's a single Advent and it's really nothing to write home about. Um, additionally, there will be quite a few loss. And what I don't know is whether or not there is a maximum on the spawn of loss, because uh, the timer of the loss seems to be ticking on and on and on and if there is no maximum timer of the loss then this mission here could be abused to get quite a few levels for Roby. Given that we are so starved of experience 
I might consider farming uh, this here just to upgrade his level. I think I saw the first uh, advent over there. Yeah, the odds of hitting are too bad. Everything sub 80% I wouldn't really do. Well, he has a lot of ammunition, might as well take a shot. Oh, there we go. We can clean house. Good. Time to slowly but surely continue our movement. And by the way, I'm not a big fan of abusing the lost spawn mechanic to get more levels. But it seems to be the only way that I could get some levels. I really thought through what are the alternatives and as long as we're not getting promotions as rewards for Covert Ops missions, I really don't know how I could pull it off. Forty percent shot. Very nice. That solves us uh, the headache of maybe fighting this guy and getting injured. Roby moves up. We're moving to here, Overwatch. Good, the EVIC zone is back there. I think we're going to see one more, one more um, advent. And the rest should be pretty straightforward. Let's move just a little bit back. Roby reloads and overwatches. Nice. Good shot. Ninety four percent shot, and he misses. That is lamentable. 
But I do have an idea how we can correct it. That is the worst timing possible. That is the worst timing possible. I mean, we could go to here. But that would leave us totally exposed. Instead, might as well go to here. Or up to here. I think we're going to take this pl place here. It's only half cover, but very bad vision angles for the Advent Trooper, so you would need to double move. Or not. What a lucky coincidence. It's a good chance that we can actually kill him. There we go. And this here should also kill the Advent Trooper. Okay, I am not 100% sure, but there is a pretty high chance that there are no more advents. So let's start neutralizing the targets here. Going far enough away so that we definitely won't be uh, reached. And, of course, we're missing. That's why I prefer to stay on high ground. So, well, we certainly get a lot of kills here. So we're making our way to the evac zone. Short reload overwatch. Moving. 
Yeah, there's still one more advent. Hopefully it's just a normal trooper. So it seems that the loss will continue to spawn. To my understanding, they will also continue to yield experience. means we just need to kill the last advent and then I'll start to camp. I won't record the entire process but I will like from time to time so to speak fast forward and give a bit of an impression about it. Okay, moving just a bit back so that they couldn't reach us. Oh gosh. They're moving really close. The shotgun will kill them all. Reload and let's go. Okay, so that took care of the latest swarm. Okay, I'll go. One more advent, which we're going to get to soon. There's the trooper. Can really seem to be hitting him from here. Forty percent, or alternatively, we're giving ourselves eight protocol. We could have also just hunkered down. Missed the overwatch shot. Now yeah, well, we can kill him now. I think we're not triggering Overwatch, right? Yeah. Done. Last Advent is killed. Which means for us, this here should be the spawning ground for the loss. Good. 
Good. So this here will be basically the base camp that I'm going to use. And let's see how long the loss are going to uh, spawn. Oh, we should be the one getting most of the kills. Okay, I'll pause the recording here for a bit and uh, we'll just uh, talk about how many waves uh, I have gone through. So this was wave number one and I'll be back in a second. All right, and we're back. <clears throat> so I did it for, I would say, around 15 to 20 waves now. I'm not even sure if it if there are yielding experience because we haven't officially received the level up. I will just give it a go. If they would have uh, yielded experience, we got a good chunk out of it, but I don't want to spend hours of grinding this if they wouldn't um, offer experience. So killed almost a hundred enemies here. Most of it was on the very back side of it. Um, for those of you, if it works for those of you who are interested in it, I recommend placing both of your units on the balcony. That makes the loss spawn right underneath you. And with a shotgun, you could easily jump down and kill all of them right away. Robbie definitely got a promotion out of it, plus uh, amped up a lot of kills, so maybe it has worked. Um, now I'm a bit insecure of whether or not I should have simply stayed. I like the conceal option for him but I also like run and gun I think in this particular case might even be an option to go for conceal ah, but run and gun is very good Roby just became a lieutenant, which is phenomenal. And... Yeah, whoa, 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 wait. There we go. He also increased mobility by one. Hopbite is wounded for four more days. Hmm. How long until month and 11 days? Okay. Uh, that's unfortunately 11 days. 10 days to get the faction hero. So we might skip the engineer. Instead, get the Reaper, which is really needed. It's also giving us access to additional, uh, to additional classes. So yeah, we should be done with it prior to the actual supply drop because we need to continuously do the reduction of the uh, of the Avatar pro uh, Avenger project Avatar project. Sorry. Um, as for alien alloys and the upgrade of our weapons, can we find alien alloys at the black market? Market is open. Working one of the very first gene therapy centers. I 
still nothing. We can't buy them. Could buy a sergeant now. We're gathering new intel. I think that's the best that we can do at the moment. Eight days will be around 50 intel. Good enough to theoretically make contact to another region. Our income has further decreased. And that's really bad. And there is another facility. Shit. We will never get to that facility. It, it's just too far away. Got 140 supplies from clearing the relay there. And that'll take a long time. Gosh, three are required down here. Okay. Well, that will take even longer. Maximum power consumption reached. I mean, we could go for a workshop. That would solve our uh, our problem with the engineers. What else are we going to take? Yeah, training center, maybe. If we were to upgrade this here, it's only two power, so that wouldn't be enough. If we staff an engineer here, that'll be enough power. But then again, we don't have any engineer. At least none of them are spare. <laughs> stop the advent retaliation um, yeah we can try that we can certainly try that I am not sure if we can actually pull it off but we can try but that's going to happen in the next mission guys uh, in the next episode thanks so much for watching I enjoyed it and it seems that we have gotten one step in the right direction with the promotions. At least we're hanging on by a thread. I don't know for how much longer, but it it works at the moment. So let's see how if I can stall out the game and get us into a uh, into the mid game. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.